Why is your ex an ex? I was in the emergency room with kidney stones didn't know it was kidney stones at the time. Just knew I was in the most pain I'd ever been in. She got pissed because you're not paying attention to me. Seriously. I'm in a f***ing emergency room hooked up to an IV with painkillers flowing through me. At this point I'm half conscious cause of the morphine. And apparently I'm a piece of shit for not paying attention to her. It came to a head when I asked her to get a nurse because something didn't feel right they had gave me something I was allergic to and I was starting to have an allergic reaction. She said. Fine. I'll just be your babysitter. At that point I just told her to go home. That her negativity was making me feel worse. She got all pissy. Threw a fit and left in a rage. Next day I didn't even call her for a ride back home when I got out of the hospital. I called my aunt and had her drive me home. The moment I got home I started packing my sh**. If you have to be the center of attention and can't feel any empathy whatsoever while I'm in the goddamn emergency room, you're a garbage human I don't want anything to do with. Said she wanted a change. Coincidentally at the same time that I finished paying for her college. Neither of us wanted to relocate coasts. It's boring but true. I wish her the best in life. She was awesome. You can't always stick two severely mentally ill people in a relationship and expect it to work out great. Sometimes you think you've found a soulmate when in reality your demons just get along really well with theirs. She hit me with a car. She got pregnant with another guy's child. She didn't want to commit, but she didn't want to be alone. She liked to pretend that she didn't need my company, and that life was a cabaret. But she did, and it really wasn't for her. Something in her was afraid of getting too close. I just got tired of it. I was just someone convenient for her. We were co-workers. We used to talk a lot and clicked when it came to sense of humor and goofing around. To quickly became good friends and then started dating. I was giving her genuine affection without an ulterior motive. Her family constantly put her down and then was two-faced when it came to being nice. I was the counter to that. I was the escape. I finished my degree and moved with her four hours away. It was close enough to visit if we wanted but too far for her family to drop by unannounced. We finally had a calm life away from the stress and strife that her family caused. Then after she had her calm life she no longer needed her escape and couldn't ignore the fact that she never actually wanted me as a person. She only wanted what I represented. What I no longer needed to provide. So she started cheating on me with someone who she was actually attracted to behind my back and his wife's back. 7 years. Gone. Been married 18 years. So my ex was an ex from about 23 years ago. Reason he's my ex? Got my friend preggers. When I confronted him he suggested we stay together and have threesomes. Yeah. Nope. What a 200 IQ play. I know this is a massive betrayal of trust that will take you years to recover from. But consider this. Threesome. Well. She passed away so I guess she is my ex now. I still love her. My boyfriend passed away 11 years ago now. I never considered him my ex. He's just my late boyfriend. I still miss him. He wanted to date someone exactly like him. And I couldn't be that person. He made me feel guilty for not enjoying everything he enjoyed. If he hadn't ended things. I was going to. We just weren't compatible. She got sick of being taken for granted. And dealing with the effects of my insecurities. Turned out the only thing we had in common was that we both liked to eat pussy. Were you both dudes? Asking the right question. My girlfriend was verbally abusive on a regular basis. She would also get physically abusive when she drank too much. She wasn't really strong enough to hurt me seriously. But when the person you love starts trying to sucker punch you it is really frustrating. I still miss her a lot. Some days she was wonderful and the sweetest person ever. Others she was bitter, angry, and would do anything to try to get a reaction out of me by insulting me. Started to become my insecure high school self after a while and had to give up. She dealt with a lot of really horrible abuse in her past and I didn't want to ever be the next abuser because of my own anger and frustration so I had to let her go. Still miss her. Still love her. Wish things had been different. This kinda rings true for my ex. She never drank or physically tried to hurt me. But the other stuff. Everything would be fine. 
and then suddenly she wants to have a discussion. The reason it's in quotes is because it was more of a witch trial than a discussion. Randomly out of the blue she'd bring up some topic, and then proceed to grill me on it and ask me a billion questions. The trial would last anywhere from 24 hours to sometimes a week for the bad ones. Until finally I'd say something that was the wrong answer and she's blame me for being whatever it is. One time it was me being sexist, and I'd ask her what did I do that's sexist? And there would be nothing she could point to. But still my tone means that I think women are slaves. Another time she said I'm too much of a Christian fundamentalist. Which makes no sense because I'm a Jew and an atheist. One time I was gonna commit a terrorist attack. All sorts of weird crap. The other thing she'd do is like I'd talk to her on the phone while on the way somewhere. And she'd say something random like oh I still gotta go home and pack. And I'd say pack? Where are you going? And she'd say she's going to X country for a week. And she's sure she told me. And she's shocked I'm unaware. And I'd start doubting myself. Except I'd go back and search throughout texts or posts or anything and find zero trace of an international trip. Not to mention I'd surely remember something like that. But she'd insist she told me. And she'd bring up other random things I've forgotten like some time I forgot her mom's birthday. Small things like that as evidence that my memory is sh by the end of it I wouldn't know what to believe, and was never quite sure if I really did forget, or if she's lying. But at the same time I never did find a reason for her to lie so the whole thing still makes no sense. For the first couple of years these trials and or forgetting instances would happen once every few months. By the end of our relationship this was happening every other week. Finally I just had enough and walked. I still don't know what was causing all of that. He cheated on me. His excuse was it wasn't anything sexual. I just wanted to show her my d then she grabbed it and put it in her. His words not mine. Then I tripped and fell into her I realized I was gay once I saw the guys she was cheating on me with. Can't beat him. Join him. Because I'm a selfish a Being a selfish a is fine if you're by yourself and want to be that way. But other people tend to not like it very much when looking for company. When I was nearly robbed. Before the story came out she said damn I didn't know that your great great grandparents medals were stolen. She f hired two guys to rob me cause I told her my brother was having a serious asthma attack and I'll be at the hospital. She wanted to show me that she found the medals. He was truly a phenomenal person but something just didn't click romantically. I just didn't feel the way I thought I should have felt about him. We dated for about 6 years, and I thought things were going quite well. When we started dating, she thought she was asexual and so s wasn't really a main focus in our relationship, which wasn't a deal breaker for me so I rolled with it. About a month or two before we broke up, I could feel some distance being forged between us. At first I chalked it up to her being busy with a new job and family obligations, but more and more she would reference one of her co-workers. I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me, but I trusted her completely. So I didn't tell her not to talk to him or anything, and she reassured me that there was nothing going on between them. Well, one night we're talking over messenger and our conversation took a pretty serious turn where she basically admitted to me that she didn't think she was as asexual as she thought she was, and that she didn't find me appealing in that way at all. It devastated me, but I ultimately accepted it. Naturally, I asked if her coworker had any role in her decision to break up, which she was adamant that he didn't, not even two weeks later. I find out that the two of them started dating, which really made me go into a deep depression. I'm happy to say that it's been a little over a year since then, and I've lost over 130 pounds and am finally at a healthy weight for the first time in my adult life. My social life is the best it's ever been. I got my degree, and have an excellent new job. At one point I thought my life was over, and in some regards, I was right, my life as I had known it was over, but my new life is so much better. This was the worst one. We were in a long distance relationship. It wasn't working out for him though so he broke up with me. We still kept daily contact however. When he came back to visit my city as his home, he told me that he missed me and so we hung out the entire week he was there. Had s and all that. I was pretty sure we were going to make it work and get back together that's what I was hoping turns out. When he went back to his other country, I found out by luck that he was actually in a relationship with another girl. So yeah, he cheated on her with me. The best part? This was a girl that I had some red flags up on when we were still together and he was actually dating her while we were still together. Yup. Felt like a complete idiot and that's how he became my ex forever. According to her, she just lost her feelings for me. 
It's been six years and I still dream of her. Told me he was afraid I'd gain a lot of weight and wanted to feel he could have s any time he wanted. Guess you can't have spontaneous with a woman who's a little overweight. Jokes on him, I lost weight and he gained weight. Because we were two different people in two different places in our life. Also BC she had a nasty habit of banging my friends. But that's besides the point. Diagnosed with ADHD. Early signs of dementia. Hypothyroidism and polycystic ovarian syndrome. She had to go back to her country to focus on her treatment and therapy. But we still talk to each other sometimes. Sucks cause she was the best person I've ever met.